Shalom, 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 saints of the Most High, Yah, glory to the King. And just in case you're not sure who that King is, his name is Yahshua, Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah, bless his holy name. Thank you for joining me. You are on Blog Talk Radio here on the Straightway Truth Ministry. My name is Elder Rufus. Thank you for being with me tonight. Um, always like to start off with a sound check. Thank you, Brother Victor. I see it's coming in clear there in Alabama. Brother Steve, bless you. Bless you, Elder. Up there in Canada, Brother Dorman, Brother Chris. Hallelujah. Brother Chris Davis out in Canada. Hallelujah. All right, all right. Sister Holly, bless you. I think that's a new name. Not sure if I know Sister Holly, but uh, pleasure to meet you, Sister. We have a Sister Denise on our phone. She can hear you well. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Bless you, Sister Denise. Uh, glad to have you there uh, in Canada with our Canadian saints up there. Hallelujah. All right. Sounds like we're coming in well. That's a good thing. Glory to the King. Saints, I tell you, like always, Elder is uh, flat out excited. Flat out excited. Uh, we just came out of fellowship here uh, at Straightway, Georgia. Uh, for those that are, those that are new with us, because I see we got a few guests in here, and uh, uh, Brother Steve just informed me that we have a new sister listening up there with the Canadian Saints, Sister Denise. All you guys welcome her, make her feel at home. And uh, so, since see some of you are new, um, and we got a Sister Holly in here. Uh, that's a new name. Pleasure to meet you too, Sister Holly. Uh, before you new people, uh, again, my name is Elder Rufus. I am one of the elders here uh, in Israel, uh, joined with the Straightway Ministry, and I also am the head of the assembly that gathers here in the state of Georgia. Now, that assembly consists of saints that live here on the land uh, that the Most High Yah has provided for us in Georgia. Uh, we will be in what you call the northwest corner of Georgia. We are close to the Alabama line not far from Alabama, so we also have Alabama saints that come over and fellowship with us uh, periodically. We have saints that come all the way from the Atlanta area. We have saints that come from north northeast Georgia. Uh, we have saints that used to come from the southern part of Georgia. We also have saints that come from Tennessee, uh, the Chattanooga area. So even though we're in Georgia, the Father has uh, brought us all together uh, from three or four different states. And we thank him for that. And as I was stating, we have actually just come out of fellowship, uh, probably as I'm speaking. I believe I saw lights of cars leaving the driveway uh, as I was getting up from my nap. Uh, Elder does have to go to work tonight. Some of you guys know I work third shift. And uh, I was up with the Saints until around 3, 4 o'clock. Yeah, because we had dinner at 3. So I was up until a little after 4, and I had to get a nap. To, uh, to do the broadcast and to get ready for work tonight. So I did not get to say goodbye or literally see you later because there's never goodbye in Israel, but uh, see you later. Bless you, Sister Charmaine. Hallelujah. Hopefully you made it home safely or you're still at Straightway. Bless you, Sister. That's another faithful sister here in Georgia. She's been blessed to be down at Straightway for a little while here, a little over a week or so. Hallelujah. But, uh, yeah, the saints just literally left here, and uh, they pretty much were here. The entire weekend. And I tell you, oh, we enjoyed each other. Whew. We loved on each other. We embraced each other. We laughed. We joked. We sang. We praised. Oh, man, we had a wonderful time. Most of the saints came in six day. And uh, they came, like I said, they came in from Tennessee. They came in from Alabama. They came in from the Atlanta area. They came in. And uh, we all... Packed in here like Pastor Dow said all the time, like sardines. And uh, we had them here. We had them at the uh, apartment that we have, too, that's right around the corner from the land. We were, we were packed, boy, packed, sleeping on couches, sleeping on floors, sleeping bags. I mean, but we loved it. We loved it. And, and, and it just didn't, it, did, it wasn't bad. It didn't, you know, didn't seem like anybody was in anybody's way. The the line at the bathroom wasn't that long. You know, there was a couple times I had to, you know, look, look, man, somebody, that, 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 that somebody still, ah, they still, oh, okay, it's open now, you know, a couple of those. But other than that, I mean, I'm telling you, no hiccups, just beautiful, fellowship. and 
the majority of the saints were here. Uh, again, like I said, Sister Charmaine, a faithful sister from the Atlanta area that fellowships here, she had the, uh, uh, the privilege and the honor to be at Straightway uh, for this past week or so. So she was one of the few that was not able to make it here. But, hey, we all understand. You get the chance to go to Straightway and actually spend some time there at Straightway, Tennessee, with Pastor Dow. Now, the Becker and the Saints there, hey, you take advantage of it. So uh, we're grateful that our sister got that opportunity because a lot of us here have had that opportunity where we can go and stay for a week, two weeks, a month, some of us, you know what I mean? So uh, we were grateful that she had an opportunity to be with the Saints there. But she was one of the few that did not get to make it here. And uh, I surprised most of the saints here because you guys have heard the testimony of Pastor Dow and myself. And uh, we got a faithful family here, uh, Brother Al and his family, Sister Erica, Mom Muncie, uh, little baby Caitlin, and a very faithful family here in the Georgia area. And they're just busy, you know, with the work that they have to do, the responsibility that the Father has put on them, and us as a, as a, as a whole in Georgia, um, on that homestead that they have uh, uh, raised up there, um, but they were able to break away. And I want to send a shout out to Mom Muncie because I know somebody always has to stay behind. One person has to stay on the land because you have the animals and things like that you're dealing with. Um, and I see that Mom Muncie sacrificed this time and stayed so that uh, Brother Al and Sister Erica and, and baby Caitlin could come and fellowship with the saints. So I didn't tell the saints because, you know, we understand, we know the responsibility on our brother. And uh, we know he just does not get an opportunity to get out and fellowship with us as much as he wants. We know this. And, and it's tough for us to get, you know, as a group, 20 of us load up and go there. So when they showed up first thing this morning, right at breakfast time, I mean, the saints, I came out of the room and I couldn't see nothing but pearly white. Was all smiles around here. They were so excited. They like, man. And I had them all nervous the night before because Elder was telling them, mm hmm, got all y'all here. Good. I got a good surprise for every one of y'all in the morning. I'm glad to have all the saints here. Yeah, I got a surprise for y'all in the morning. So, of course, all them thinking, man, Elder about to put us to work. <laughs> so, me and Brother Al got them. Me and Brother Al got them. So, they, they were blessed to be able to fellowship with their brother and their sisters. And we just had an incredible time. We really did. And we just loved on each other, y'all. We didn't do nothing special. I mean, we ate well and we fellowshiped hard and we praised even harder. I mean, man, we had a good praise and worship session um, just the whole time. I mean, not just yesterday for Sabbath service, um, but just the whole time. And uh, But we enjoyed that yesterday, too. How many of you guys enjoyed uh, the little twist that Pastor them put on that song yesterday, that the song that we've been singing, and they put the little new ad to it. Oh, man, it threw us off for like, you know, the first 20 seconds. But, man, we jumped on it real quick, and we was in it. So I like the, the changes that they made to it. But, uh, yeah, we just we just really enjoyed each other. So I think the last bit of the Saints that uh, that had to travel, they just left. I believe our brother Al and them left about half hour ago. Um, Mom Melissa, that's from the Tennessee area, up from the uh, uh, Chattanooga area, she just left. Sister Cherie, her and her son, we left. Um, who else? Oh, Brother brother Santi. You guys all heard Brother Santi's testimony. Uh, him and his wife, Sister Leah, and their son, Yeshia. Boy, they're growing. That family's just growing leaps and bounds. I tell you, I'm so happy for them and proud of them. Uh, the responsibility that young man has put on his shoulders, and he's just taking it taking it like a Hebrew man. He really is. So uh, I thank the Father for them. They just left. So we're just full around here, as you guys can tell. We are just full because the Father has allowed us uh, another time, another opportunity to be able to come together and show how much we love. And I tell you, it, it got it got thick in here, y'all. Let, let me go ahead and share this bit with you. Don't I don't want everybody just thinking that just and Georgia get together, all they doing is partying and and eating good food and, and, and cakes and pies and, and hanging out and playing games and watching movies and doing up uh uh no 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 no. This thing got started with a real deep and a real in depth what we call Q and A. And I think some of you guys know uh that's something the father has put on my heart to do here in Georgia is a Q and A session and we do that after every Sabbath service. So we have Sabbath service of course on seventh day morning, Saturday morning we have Sabbath service. We uh, tap in with Pastor Dial, and we listen to the service. After the service, we do everything just like Straightway Tennessee does. We we have prayer. We have deliverance. 
in that magnitude, then we break bread. And then after we break bread, we do here in Georgia a thing called Q&A. And, of course, it's just question and answer. Uh, I leave the floor open. I am not the end-all, be-all, so I'm not acting like I have answers to everything that's going on in the world today. I'm not acting like I got all the uh, the Torah knowledge in the world. Um, but it's amazing how the things that are going on here in Georgia, the things that are going on in Israel, the Father puts the answers in our hearts through the Word, and he gives it to us. And uh, amazingly, this week, the Q&A uh, went in the area of us as a body, us here as a tribe here in Georgia, being challenged by ourselves. It was the brethren stepping up, asking the tough questions to the tribe here in Georgia, and asking flat out, when are we going to stop making this thing just flow off our lips and actually become reality, actually be the work that we're doing? Because it sounds great. You guys know it. It sounds great when we hear these saints, oh, man, I'm excited. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But then you look a year later, six months later, and they, it, well, the brother's still in the city, man. What? what, what you know what I mean? The, the results are not coming. And we've been hearing the rebukes coming from the messages in the pulpit. We've been hearing the rebukes that have been coming from the videos that our pastor has been making. And they've been hitting us hard here in Georgia. They really have. So our, our worship session to the Father literally got started with us as individuals challenging each other in the area of faithfulness, in the area of where is your dedication level, in the area of when are you going to get your attitude and get rid of these spirits that are controlling you and, 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 and get your heart in the right place, in the right condition to serve the Father in spirit and truth. And I tell you, saints, I sat back in that chair and I I, I marveled at it because I saw the spirits of the saints rise up. And I saw the level of deep concern on some of the saints' face. They know that we are there. We are time, y'all. Some of y'all, and I can't even remember the name of the video. Pastor put a video out today. Oh, boy, I'm so sorry, saints. I wish I could remember the name of Most of you that are tapped into the ministry uh, you tapped into Pastor Dow's YouTube channel. If you are not, because I know we got some new people, go to YouTube, type, tap in, type in Pastor Dow, P A S T O R D O W E L L, and that's his YouTube channel. And Pastor puts out he got over two thousand videos on there. A lot of them are preaching, but they, they deal with everything, you guys, everything. And today he put out a video, and in that video. You know, it talked a lot about the things that we're dealing with right now as a people. It talked a lot about the stuff here in Georgia that we've been dealing with, and 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 it and it blessed us. It really did. The video today it actually blessed us. How many of y'all? I got the chat room up. Hold on one second. I'm gonna ask a question. I'm gonna see. We got calling Carl Q. I'm gonna go back to chat room. How many of y'all actually saw Mr. Dial's video today that he put out? Good, but look at that. Co-host already got up. So if you are actually in the chat room, if you're in the chat room, uh, whoever co-hosting with me tonight, I think that's, is that Brother Ugly? Bless you, Brother. Oh, no, that's not Brother Ugly. Okay. Uh, or Brother Steve. Okay. Hallelujah. I'm not sure who co-hosting tonight. <laughs> Whoever's co-hosting tonight, I thank them. I do. I thank them for their service and they already put up the video that Pastor Dow did today. So you got a link where you can go directly to that video and see exactly what I'm talking about. But, I mean, it was just a, just a straight challenge to all of us. And then, in the end, you heard Pastor sit out the war cry like, hey, do y'all understand in the spirit how, how, how we feel this thing? You know, he kept telling, them that, telling you in the, in the video that, Something's going down. I feel it in the spirit. Something is going down. Yeah, the name of the video was for for glory sake war. For glory sake war. That was the name of the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, saints. I appreciate y'all putting that up there for me. I couldn't remember the name of it, but I remember that 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 war cry that Pastor put out at the end that was warning all of us. Do y'all understand? He's telling us, I feel this thing in the spirit, y'all. Something big is about to happen to America. Something big is about to go down. 
So it's really time for us to stop doing the lip service and actually start putting in the labor and the work and the effort to set people free. It's going to take extra. You cannot continue doing exactly what you've been doing. Why? It's not enough. It's not getting it done. You know, honestly, I'm sitting here and I'm looking. I'm like, man, I'm working 50, 55, 60 hours a week. It's not because I got to put in an extra 20, 25. And I'm not talking about for the world. I'm talking about for Israel. I'm talking about for Israel. We got to put in even more work, saints. And that work has to be turned into actual producing. He gave advice today. If you haven't watched the video, I'm giving little tidbits for those because I know you're on the show, so you're probably not trying to watch the video and listen to me at the same time. But he gave little tidbits in there about like something simple like this. You're saving a lot of money now, your gas tank. I know I am. Elder was used to paying $75 to fill up his tank. I went the other day and gave the lady $40 to fill up my tank, you guys, $40. And she gave me change back. I couldn't even get the whole $40 in there. So that savings that I have now, what did he tell me to do with it? He said, you need to turn that into something tangible that you can use to produce on your land. So I need to turn it into seed, into fertilizer, into cassette. You know, maybe go out and buy more silver right now because silver is still very, very affordable. But this this savings, don't look at it like, oh, I got this break. Now I can... No, I can go buy those shoes I wanted to buy, or I can go buy that dress I wanted. You know what? If you got a need, the Father will take care of that. But most of us, it just won't. We're pretty content with what we have. We got the things we need. So at the end of the day, you need to take that little extra money, that little reprieve you have right now, and turn that into something tangible. Some of y'all that are still stuck in these cities, you better turn that into something self. You really better, or you better be putting it aside, making sure that it's going to help you get out of those cities. All right. Now, um, I tell you, Israel, it, it's I, I was talking with my brother today, uh, brother Al, and the father put a major word on his heart for Israel. Oh, boy. Yeah. And he's fine tuning it. He's fine tuning it. And he's going to put it out for you guys. And y'all going to see uh, Al, like he tell you, like pastor and testify. Very simple brother. Very simple brother. But he's very straightforward. He's very direct. And he does. Change. And this word that the father gave him. It's, it's just like his character. It really is. It's simple, straightforward, and he ain't playing games. And the thing about the word that the Father gave him, it's not only challenging to Israel, it's challenging to him as an individual because we're one, and he understands it. So um, I got a chance to look at it today, and uh, when the Father see fit for him to put it out for all y'all to see and read, uh, you'll be able to do it. And I'm telling you, it's going to hit you. If you're an Israelite, you love the Father, and these things of Israel are important to you. Oh, it's gonna hit you. It's gonna hit you where it hurts. I'll tell you that right now. It's going to challenge you flat out. And it's putting some time frames on some things. So get your heart ready, saints. But that that that, that message from Pastor, I know I'm digressing to a couple of different things, it's all the same though. But that message from Pastor today, man, I heard it. I heard it. I heard uh him crying aloud and sparing out. I heard the warning. I heard the woes. Something is going on in the spirit. I feel it, too. I, I can agree with Pastor. No doubt a higher sense of urgency right now. Right now. It's a very high sense of urgency going on in the body right now. I'm telling you, it, it, it is. It is. So, you know, saints, let's, um, we got new people, and I see we're getting the, the, the thing filled up right now. So uh, we got some uh, ministry information here that all you new people need to know about because you may want to get on board when it comes to supporting the ministry with your words of encouragement, your letters of support, things of that magnitude, maybe offerings. Um, I'm going to play a little break for three minutes here that will give you the information that you need uh, if you are looking forward to uh, joining up with us here at Straightway and becoming a part of the ministry. So uh, we'll take a quick little ministry break. It takes about three minutes, and then Elder will be back, and we'll get back at it. All right. Bless y'all. We're glad to have each and every last one of you here tonight listening to us on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, this is Pastor Dow. If you'd like to contact us, our phone number is area code 615-688-3025. That is, again, 615-688-3025. 
If you'd like to correspond with us or if you'd like to support this particular ministry uh, with your gifts, your offerings, or letter of support, you can send it to Pastor Charles Dowell. That is Pastor Charles Dowell, and the last name is spelled D-O-W-E-L-L. That is Pastor Charles Dowell. You can send your letter to 632 Highway 52 Bypass West. That's 632 Highway 52 Bypass West. P-M-B number one. Lafayette, Tennessee. And Lafayette is spelled L A F A Y E T T E, Tennessee. And the area code is 37083. Again, the mailing address is Pastor Charles Dowell, Highway 632. 52 Bypass West, PMB number 1, Lafayette, Tennessee, 37083. Our website is www.straightwaytruth.com, and that is spelled S-T-R-A-I-T-W-A-Y. T R U T H dot com. That is the straightway truth dot com or straightway truth dot com. You can also find us on YouTube. If you would go to YouTube and type in uh, my name, Pastor Dowell, P A S T O R D O W E L L. There. You can find many teaching videos. Um, we preach and teach on just about everything that the Scriptures has to offer. Uh, we also have a viable deliverance ministry. Uh, we teach people about health. And we also speak to you about how important it is to obey the covenant of the Most High. Uh, we hope to hear from you, you and you. That is our prayer. The King is coming. All right, all right. Welcome back, saints. You are on radio here with the Straightway Truth Ministry. Uh, I'm your host tonight, Elder Rufus. I'm the elder here in Israel, and I am also over the assembly in Georgia. Uh, for you saints that are in the chat room, I just put the uh, link or the website, I should say, or the, I don't know, whatever you call it, uh, Brother Al's uh, YouTube page. <laughs> put his YouTube page up. Uh, where you can go and see the letter that he put out. I think he did it in like, um, it's like a video, but it's just words, so you got to read it, okay? Y'all know how Brother Al is, not putting his face up, you know, just Brother, very few, you know, he just, he ain't out for the fanfare. So that's how he did it. So you may have to take your time and, because, and, you know, sometimes those uh, those slides go real fast. So you may have to stop it, pause it, so you can read it, Um if you're like me, I'm a slow reader, but put it up there. Um, if you are in the chat room, uh, his YouTube page where you can go and read it. And just in case you're not in the chat room, his YouTube page is the chosen number one AL. So the chosen one Al is the name of his YouTube page. That is T H E C. H O S E N, the number one, A L. He has it up. You guys can go to it, read it, and let the Father minister to your heart because you'll be able to tell. It's just true words, humble words coming from a brother that understands the time that we're living in and the urgency. When you couple his words that he put, uh, the Father gave him with that video Pastor did today you will see the urgency that's going on in the hearts and minds of us true Israelites. You will see it. And you will see why we are 
are are are frantically making moves. Well, not frantically. We're not afraid of anything, but we, you know, we understand the urgency. I should say, and we're not trying to waste time. We're trying and giving the effort and trusting in the Father to get things done. You know, because I understand the calling that is here on on Straightway Georgia. You know, there are different parts of the body. There are different functions to the body. And we understand what our function is, and we want to flow and operate in our function to a greater level. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. So we understand that we've been called to be like a transition house. The Father says, come out of her, my people. If you haven't read it, it's Revelation 18.4. You don't want to be a partaker of the plagues that's going to come on these people, okay? And you need to come out of her. Like the Bible uh, instructs us, we need to be, um, we're from this world and we're of this world, I'm from this world, but we don't need to be of this world. Meaning that we have to live here physically, but our minds and our spirits should be so far away from everything that's going on here on a spiritual level. All right? And we need to function and operate totally different than what the world does. That's why he's called us to be a holy and a sanctified and a set apart people. We need to start operating and acting like that, you guys. We truly do. And Pastor touched on it this week when he was going over in Sabbath service, the history of how these Jews came about and the different things that they have implemented on us to try to uh, steal away our heritage and and, and, and just uh, run this tomfoolery and trickery on the whole world. But the main thing you need to get from that is that you have a heritage that's being exposed to you. You have a history that's being exposed to you. You're finding out exactly who you are. Here's the key. Now it's time for you to accept that. And by accepting it, you have to attach your faith to it, which means you believe it. And if you believe it, it brings about action. It brings about works. It just does. Paul told you clearly, hey, you go ahead and show me your works. You go ahead and show it to me. And I'm going to show you. What I do, I'm going to show you my faith. I mean, so you just go ahead and show me your faith, and I'll show you my faith through the works that I do. That's exactly what he told you he would do. You will see it. I don't have to speak it, you guys. You're going to see it. Pastor Dow, even though he makes, man, like I said, well over 2,000 videos, he doesn't have to speak it. He really doesn't. You spend any amount of time with him on the land, you can physically see what he believes. Now, I thank the Father that he doesn't hold back, and he shows it to all of us as, as a beacon, as a light, as a, as a shining example of what Israel's supposed to be. On one of his videos he did, um, ooh, I want to say it was six day. But in one of the videos I remember him saying, oh, I, got, I think it was called The Answer. I got the answer. I got the answer for you. And he gave more of a general world-type answer, you know what I mean? Because Pastor knows I'm not just talking to Israel. It's a whole world out there that I'm talking to, and there are a lot of Israelites that are going to be coming in, you know, so he has to speak in a general sense a lot. So when he told them to clean water and housing and all, you know, that's a general thing. But here in Israel, he understands what it takes for those that are the true remnant of the Most High Yah too. And the main thing we got to get is the acceptance of who we are. We have to accept who we are, what we are, how we function, why we function the way we do, and accepting the fact that we need to operate as a tribal unit, as one, knitted together. Our souls knitted together. We're tied together. When you go over and you read in the New Testament, we call it, and it talks to you about, and it talks to you about, um, Okay, I'm reading something here. Sorry about that. When it talks to you about, in the New Testament, how it's supposed to be, you know, after the Messiah left, how we're supposed to operate, um, it's very clear in Acts 2 and Acts 4. These people came together, brought all of their resources, sold anything of extra they had, brought it together, and they took nothing or had nothing that they called their own, not their homes, uh, not their utensils, uh, not their supplies, not their tools, whatever it is that they had, not their money, nothing was their own. Everybody gave to make sure that everybody could be on the same level. Now, if a man has six children, 
and another man has one child. Wouldn't that man with six children need more space than a man with one child? Okay, so, you know, you get this American mentality to say, well, you know, room house, I mean, I need a six-bedroom house. No, you don't get it. You get what you need, and that's the problem. So many of us in Israel have so much more than what we need, and we're not willing to sacrifice. We're not willing to sacrifice. We got people now that's by themselves or with maybe a couple, and they got 2,000, 3,000 square foot homes. Let's just be real. You don't need all that. You don't need it. You want it. You will justify in your mind that you need it, but you don't. You can't tell me you need it when I'm living in a 2,300 square foot home with 20 people, and it's working fine. We got four bedrooms, two baths, and it's working just fine. Nobody's stepping on anybody. Nobody's, oh, so don't tell me you need all that space. You really don't. What you need to do is get in your mind that all this crap I got is keeping me from Yahweh and get rid of it. There is definitely some deliverance in throwing away that I know. I remember filling up dumpsters full of worldly stuff, dumpster fools. And boy, I tell you, the release and the and the pleasure and the joy in my heart that the Father gave me for separating myself from this worldly stuff and keeping the bare essentials, that's all we need. And then he'll add to us as we go, because as the ministry grows, you're going to need certain things to be able to give to other people. But that's on him to, dis- to disperse. That's what the man of Yah is for. It's your job to bring it and lay it at his feet. That's the problem we have in Israel. Who wants to lay, lay it all at the man of Yah's feet? Who wants to do it? Who really wants to do it? Well, we got a good group of people over there in Straightway, Tennessee, Straightway, that are showing you how to do it. We got people here in Georgia that are trying to their best to show you how to do it. Glory to the king. So, you know, go over there. I'll say it again just in case you're just new coming in. Uh, Brother Al has posted um, the words that the father gave him. And uh, he's posted it on his YouTube channel. And his YouTube channel is The Chosen One. Al, the chosen one, as in number one, not uh, O-N-E. So T-H-E-C-H-O-S-E-N, the number one, and then Al behind it, A-L. That is his YouTube channel. You go over there, you'll be able to check out what the Father has put on his heart for Israel. And, you know, meditate on it. Meditate on it, see what the Father says for you, and then we can all go from there. Hallelujah. All right, yeah, Brother Dorman, I am here. I see it. Elder Rufus, you there. Can you guys hear me? Let me see here. Let me see. We having problems hearing me, Saints? Let's do a sound check. I had a brother ask, Elder Rufus, are you there? So I want to make sure that we're doing pretty good. All you guys in the chat room, let me get a quick sound check. Ten, you well. Uh, I'm barely coming in. You graded from that. My mic is on. Okay, all tens, all tens, all tens. Hallelujah, glory to the king. All right. Glory to the king. Sorry about that, brother word. Yeah, don't forget. We got the saints here. I know you're hearing it sometimes twice. Um, we got the saints that are here in Georgia. They're out in the living room while I'm in the bedroom doing the broadcast. And I have the window open because it's a little warm, actually. And uh, sometimes you may hear the um, – because uh, they, they got it up a little bit. So uh, sometimes you may hear uh, – because, you know, it's on a delay. So you may be hearing a little bit of that Um, because of the situation that we have set up here, brother. There's absolutely nothing I can do about that. Um, Even if you even if I close the windows, um, you still would hear it just a tad bit. But uh, I'm glad here uh, that everybody can hear. And uh, man, we got some uh, some guests in here today. Hallelujah. Glory to the king. All right. That brother Junior that's been holding. We're going to go. You got. We're gonna go to phone lines and we're gonna go to Brother Junior, faithful Brother Junior. Uh, Brother Junior, I believe this is you on area code three four seven. Area code three four seven. You on the Straightway Truth Ministry here on Blog Talk Radio with Elder Rufus. How can I help you, my brother? Shalom, Elder Rufus. Yes, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, my brother. Good to hear your voice. <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, yeah, that's finished watching past the video. Yes, sir. I agree with him. Yeah, it's getting worse, man. It's America. I feel. I understand. Like people, you know, 
the cities around the areas, people are getting worse, man. People are getting worse. It's getting worse every day. You know what I'm saying? It's getting worse, I'm telling you. It's getting worse, man. Like, I understand. Yep. I understand. But it's the best, but I don't you get silver, everything. Because something's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? Something's going to happen, brother. Something's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sir, um. You got. Hmm? Go ahead, bro. Okay, okay. Oh, the server is good yesterday. Rehash. You like a rehash, a review of the Jews' history, everything Roman. Good history. It's good refresher, too. Good refresher. I need that, too. Good refresher. A good one. No doubt. No doubt. With the. Yes, um, with the new Saints we got coming on, uh, Brother Junior, it's always good that. But then I do remember, too, this was like two years ago that Pastor Dow yeah. did, yeah, did the teaching down in Atlanta. And uh, it was in um, uh, uh, Atlanta, and we did he did the teaching here, and he taught on Judah Salah. And we could tell even then at that time, man, this is way over our heads as Israelites. And he taught it in Atlanta, then he came back. And I believe the first week he got back to straightway, he taught it again. But I think Pastor even understood, man, this is over our head. This is over the saints' head. They don't, they can't get it. So with this teaching, it's going to go back, teach us about our history. And he said he's going to build this thing up, that we get a full understanding of, of what he was actually trying to teach us two years ago uh, about our heritage and, and, and the way that we came and what's going on in the world today and how they have manipulated this full system and things of that magnitude. So I'm looking forward to it. I really am. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, uh, I've done some of my own independent study, even from back then. And um, and I know he's going to hit that and go even greater. So, uh, yeah, it's a refresher for a lot of us that's, that's been in a way that's accepted it about who we are and our heritage. But he's going to progress this thing up to show us some things that we are not privy to. And it's going to be uh, uh, prevalent for the time that we're in right now. Hallelujah. Glory to King. Absolutely. 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 Um, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy the teachers, too. I love to see me talk to the Jews and all that. I love them teachers, man. I love it. I enjoy it. I always enjoy it. Because that was for all these lies, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's simple, too. Simple. Yes, sir. Well, you know, this Dead Sea, I'm focused on, you know, staying, you know, staying. Purge myself, you know what I'm saying? Still getting purged, pruned. Purged and pruned. There ain't nothing out here, man. There's nothing out here. Nothing. There's nothing out here for us. You know what I'm saying? To stay, I'm staying purged, listening to messages, man. Good messages. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Um, all right. That's all I've got. Bless you, El Rufus. Thank you for the show tonight. Love your show. Always love your show, man. I miss your show, too. Mr. Yeah, Shows, brother, I, man. I miss you guys, brother. I'm glad to be back at it, and I'm glad to be back in fellowship with you. Like I said, it's always a fellowship for me to be able to come together. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got saints from around the world. I think I looked in there. There's a brother in there from London tonight. And, you know, we got mm-hmm. saints from everywhere, so it's a fellowship for me. So, yes, sir, I'm glad to be back, and I'm um, looking forward to what the Father has for us. And keep, keep your eyes posted. There's going to be plenty of videos and plenty of instruction coming on, uh, Panels and like mine and Brother Devlon's, of course, through pastors, of course, all the brothers. Think about it. Bob, Bob's putting the spirit in the brothers, man. They are making videos. So you guys need to make sure you avail yourself and, and get these links out. Like Brother Steve in Canada does an incredible job of keeping us connected with all the saints on Facebook and Skype and all these social media. So if you if you don't know, if you have questions like, man, how do I connect with all these brothers that are out here? Go to Brother Steve in Canada. He pretty much is connected to all of us. Brother Steve I believe their name is Steve Oft, O-F-T, and Winda, W-E-N-D-A, Steve Oft and Winda, on Facebook or on here tonight. If you're in the chat room, I believe they're in there tonight, too. But, uh, yeah, Steve Oft Yawa, if you're in the um, chat room tonight, it's Steve O-T-F-X Yawa, Y-A-H-W-E-H. But that's the brother you connect with because he, he, he is just connected when it comes to uh, us being connected with social media. No doubt about it. So bless you, brother, Junior. Good to hear from you, brother. And uh, Oh, oh. They encourage. Oh, oh, go ahead, brother. Oh, uh, I'm sure the videos, too. I'm uh, doing the um, um, videos about um, the law and your videos, getting stuff together, you know, 
Building material, you know. And the family on video, too. That's a good video, too. No doubt. Thank you so Good much. Up. Thank you yes, so sir. much. You're welcome. Love y'all. You're welcome. We Shalom. got a bunch more coming. Yeah, Shalom, my brother. Shalom. Hallelujah. Yeah, Glory peace. to the King. Yes, Bless you, brother, Junior. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. That's our beautiful brother, Junior, out in the NYC. Uh, faithful brother. We got a lot more videos coming out. I, 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 I uh, had two brothers taking pictures and videos all this weekend so you guys could see uh, the fellowship that we had here in Georgia. So I'm going to get with those two brothers. And um, I'm going to see the pictures. I'm going to see the videos that they made. And they'll do the cutting and pasting and all that good stuff. And then they'll be out sometime. They'll be out sometime this week for the family to be able to see their Georgia family coming together and fellowshipping. And, um, and you know, and in this season, you know, this dead, dead season here in this world, it could be life to us, though. You know, we can be stripping off and killing off all these dead uh, spirits and all these dead attitudes that we have so that we can get ready in the springtime to, to really plant and grow and, 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 and spring forth in, 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 the, in the body the way we need to. So we need to get rid of this crap right now, saints. We need to get rid of this stuff immediately. We really do. We know. I was talking with a brother. He was asking me some questions, and I was telling him flat out. One of the brothers that came to fellowship this week, and I was telling him, brother, the stuff we know, we know these things. These are basic things. But Who's willing to sacrifice? Oh, okay, Brother Steve. I'll pause. I'm going to get back to that thought I just had. <laughs> Y'all know all this time. I didn't know what OTF meant. I used to see that on Steve and them. It means of the family. Hallelujah. <laughs> I told you, I was a little slow when it comes to stuff, y'all, and all that. So, But that OTF in his name means of the family of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I like that. But I was telling this brother that we know. We know, we know, we know what to do. We know these things, but who is actually willing to sacrifice? I said, y'all marvel at Pastor Dow. Y'all marvel at the elders. Y'all marvel at some of these brothers and their testimonies and some of these sisters and their testimonies. But listen to the people that are really impressing you with their testimonies, people that are really impressing on your heart, I should say, and really allowing the conviction of the Most High God to hit you when you hear their testimonies. These people have given up a lot. They have given up a lot. They've given up wives, just like the Messiah said in the New Testament, in the Gospels. Uh, They've given up husbands. They've given up children. They've given up lands. They've given up houses. They've given up uh, six-figure jobs. They've walked away from things that most people in the world wouldn't consider walking away from, just to be with the body of Yah, just to be with the Master. So when you see their praise, you know it's real. And you wonder why yours ain't real. You ain't gave up nothing. You ain't walked away from nothing. You, you're you still connected to the wickedness of this world. You can't tell some of these people, no, don't call me no more. You can't say to some of these wicked family members, I don't want to hear from you ever again. It's hard. And because you're still connected, you're not getting the same emphasis in your life you're not getting that same power because the father is not fooled by this stuff you guys he's not fooled at all he knows when you 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 got four toes trying to be in the kingdom and one toe still trying to stay in the world he knows when your thoughts are not totally on israel he knows when your thoughts are with the world and he's made it extremely clear that you put your hand to this plow and you and you look back you are not fit to enter into his kingdom. You are not fit for his kingdom. If you take the reins of coming a Hebrew Israelite, if you take the reins of being a follower of the Most High Yah and, and treating yourself in this faith that we call it, all right? But then you look back and say, well, you know, these people here and, and you know, they need me and I got to do this and I need to. You're not worthy. You are not worthy. You better learn how to have tunnel vision. Once you get in this faith, you better really work on tunnel vision, on looking forward, not looking to your right, not looking to your left, not looking behind you, keeping your eyes on the prize of the high calling. You better learn it, and you better learn it fast because people are being stripped and cut off from the body forever, forever. These decisions are eternal, saints. Whew. That's where the urgency comes from because we know this and we see it. So there's a few of us. There's a few that really get it and really understand. 
And that's why this urgency is so great on our hearts. And that's why we're following pastors, uh, uh, God and putting out these videos and, and, and giving words of encouragement and, and doing all we can to show you where our heart lies and, and, and what we really have faith and we believe in. It's up to you to step up and get it done flat out. Quit making the excuses. Y'all going to see, go over to the chosen number one, Al. Read what the father put on brother Al's heart. I promise you, if you love the father, it will bless you. It blessed me. It challenged me. And I'm his elder. And it still challenged me. It did. I'm I, I'm in a set-apart situation where I'm not living in those cities. And I'm out in the country. All right? I'm not out as far as I want to be. But I'm out further than most of y'all. No doubt about it. You know? I'm definitely not in no metropolises. You know what I mean? This area being don't even have 500 people total in it. 500 people, y'all. So, do I have a neighbor thrown, uh, a stone throws away? Yeah, I still do. But they're at peace with us. They don't bother us, and we don't bother them. All right? And I'd rather deal with that than being in some apartment with 1,500 people in the in the same apartment building than I am. I got to stack up on elevators and, and, and smell people's piss and, 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 and look at half-dressed women all day and rowdy children that won't pull their damn pants up and just all this kind of mess you deal with in the city, getting on these crazy transits and all, man, just retarded stuff, just retarded. I drive on country roads to work, and I don't really have many issues when I'm driving, just me and the father. Hallelujah. Or the king. So, saints, it's time. It's time right now. It's time. So this is a great time to be getting your hearts right. Go back. Listen to the videos. Go back. Listen to the videos. Some of you out there, once you start to go down this path, what will take place is that the Father will start to show you who you are. He really will. He'll start to show you who you are. And you will see yourself, and you will be disgusted. I'm promising you this. You will be flat out disgusted with yourself. Now, pastor made a video not long ago called Guilt, Shame, and Condemnation. Go back and watch that. That might have been a, um, that wasn't a video, y'all. That was a, a, a Sabbath service. That was a Sabbath teaching. So, But it's on YouTube. It's in his archives, uh, Guilt, Shame, and Condemnation. And that video will help you not to walk in guilt, shame, and condemnation. Because you're going to feel some of that. The devil going to try to make sure you do. Because you're going to see yourself in a whole different light. And when you humble yourself and you lay yourself out before the Most High, it's going to be sickening. You're going to get pissed off at all the stuff that you've been hit, that been lost and, and, and that you've been tricked in. But you're going to look at the stuff you did, too, that you willingly did. And it's going to piss you off. I'm going to tell you that now. But it's also going to make you walk with a shame face it really is because you're going to realize how disgusting you are you're going to realize how foul you are you're going to realize how wicked your thoughts are on a daily basis so you go back and you review that guilt shame and condemnation so that you don't walk in any of those the father has set us free the truth is not here to let us walk in guilt shame and condemnation it's here to set us free and he who the son says free is free indeed correct so that's what that, 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 that teaching will help you with once you start to go through this myriad of emotions, once you start to see and the Father pull that cover back and show you who you really are. Now, we got a faithful group of brethren and sisters, uh, brethren, period, because that's brothers and sisters that um, pretty much follow this broadcast and doing it. But we all can we all can be challenged. We all know of areas and ways that we want to get better. And don't forget, you are an example. You're an example. Somebody, I guarantee it, somebody is watching you. You know, you're not going to get up here and the pastor dials of the world and the elder Beckers and, uh, you know, the elders in Israel and the people that make videos. They're not going to talk favorably of you and don't expect people not to watch you. Oh, they're going to watch you. When we put you out there because of your character, now you just became a bullseye. You just became a target. Now, we understand the shoulders that you have. That's why we do it. But at the same time, you better learn how to walk circumspectly. You better walk soberly in this thing and stay humble. Take the humble approach every single time and you will never lose. Wise man told me that. 
I'm still meditating on those words. I'm still fully trying to grasp it. Because, you know, you, you say it like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I can do that. No, you can't do it. You don't know how you know how to do it when you ain't never walked home on your whole life. You know, these things take time. You got to meditate on these things. You got to go to the Proverbs to get this wisdom. You got to go to the Psalms to encourage yourself. Hallelujah. And again, for those of you that are new, for those of you that are, when I say new, I'm talking now new in mind. You're new in your thoughts. You're really starting to grasp that you're part of a tribe. You're really starting to grasp that, okay, this is what Israel is all about. Man, bless you, uh, co-host. If you're in the uh, chat room, they just put up the link for you to go look at that spiritual warfare video on guilt, shame, and condemnation. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. But, yeah, in your mind, if it's fresh and it's new to you, you know what I mean, that that you are part of this tribe and you are one, go back to uh, what we commonly call the New Testament and go to the book of Acts. Go read Acts chapter 2. Go read Acts chapter 4 and ask the Father to put the spirit that was on those people that had uh, rejuvenated hearts, people that had been fully converted, that had been added to the body, and then the actions that followed when they were added and fully converted. See, how many of us have had those kind of experiences? Once we got, we start doing what those people did in Acts 2 and Acts 4. That's the spirit you need to be praying over yourself. That's what you need to be calling out and crying out and asking the Father to do for you. Because that's the spirit that's going to be needed for us to walk in this thing as one. It's that spirit. Acts 2, chapter 2, and Acts chapter 4. Go read them. Go study them. Go meditate on them. Ask the Father to give you the same spirit that those saints had. Hallelujah. And just like they brought joy to the man of Yah uh, back then, Peter, you can do the same for Pastor Dow. Because Pastor Dow is putting in the work just like Peter puts in the work. Hallelujah. Pastor Dow was growing in the grace and the knowledge of the Most High Yah, just like Peter was growing in the grace and the knowledge of the Most High Yah. All right? Nobody has this thing on lock 100%. So don't come into it expecting things to be perfect, Okay? None of us, like the Bible tells us, will be perfect until the perfect one comes. But all these gifts are given to the body so that we could be made perfect, okay? For the perfecting of the saints. Perfecting. It is a continual action, you guys. It's not a one-time thing and we're done. It's a continual thing that we're going to be getting being made perfected. So as the Father releases information and the Father releases truth, we, we, we grow and become more perfect in it. But it don't mean we have it all. And it's clear we ain't going to get it all until the Messiah comes back. But be grateful for where he puts you and for what you have in your life today, flowing that. And I promise you that will be enough. That will be enough to sustain you, your family, and, 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 and the Israelite tribe that you are connected with. That I can guarantee. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Well, thanks. Bless y'all. Uh, y'all got to go to work. Oh, there is another call and call queue. I was about to, man, brother would have been mad or sister would have been mad at me. Let me go. Get this call before we ought to get out of here. All right. We got a call and call a queue. Calling from area code 706. Area code 706. 706. You're on the Straightway Truth Ministry broadcast here on Blog Talk Radio with Elder Rufus. How can I help you? Seven zero six. Seven zero six. Area code 706. All right, Saints. Must not have been a call. All right. Well, that was, we don't have any other calls in the caller queue. And uh, everything that uh, that Elder had on his heart, I think I was able to get it out. Um, again, I admonish you, uh, go. For some of you that are going to go through this process, go back to the spiritual warfare. I think, uh, there it is right there. Sabbath service, August 16th of 2014. And the spiritual warfare was called Guilt, Shame, and Condemnation. Go back and check that out, because if you really go through this process, uh, the, the devil is going to try to put that on you. And you don't need to walk in any guilt, no shame, or no condemnation. And then when you're done with that, go on up to Acts 2 and Acts 4 and read about the spirit that these people had on them once their minds were fully converted. And then you get done meditating on that, uh, go to YouTube to The Chosen One, Al, T-H-E-C-H-O-S-E-N, the number one, A-L. 
That's our brother Al here in Georgia. The father put some words of encouragement on his heart for, for the body, for Israel. I, I, I admonish you to go there and look at what the father's put on his heart and, 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 and act accordingly from it. All right. Bless y'all, saints. Love you all. You new people. Uh, Sister Denise, we thank you up there in Canada for sitting in. Uh, uh, just glad to have you with us. You're with some great saints up there. So I know you're enjoying yourself, and I know you're just full right now. Um, my words to you are to stay connected with those saints. They're beautiful. Um, they will help you in this walk. Um, and be encouraged. Be encouraged and keep the faith no matter what. Uh, learn tunnel vision. Stay focused. Uh, keep studying the word. Keep listening. And you will grow, I guarantee it, and stay connected. Do not break the commandment that tells us to not forsake the assembly. We need to be coming together. We saw an issue in a situation this week on Pastor's Channel with this brother Dave Thompson. This brother forsook that commandment that we were commanded to come together. He forsook that for years, and we admonished him. But that brother that you're up there with, says Denise, he admonished them. That sister, they admonished this brother. They really worked hard to try to bring this brother into the family fully. He just didn't want to come in. So now it's come to a head, and he's no longer a part of Israel. But he had three years to get his act together, two and a half years to get his act together. This brother broke bread with us. This brother celebrated feast with us. The father invited him to his feast. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get all excited. I just I think about that, and I just think that's sad. That That whole thing is just sad. I just don't want that to be any of us, all right? Well, you got some instructions, Israel. You got some things to do. So let's get at it, and let's get out there and get at it, and let's keep encouraging each other, and let's keep going forward in the faith, all right? I love you all. I truly do bless you. Uh, I saw some people in there had issues with the time. So uh, it is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a lot of us live, a lot of you guys live in the Central Standard Time. So in the Central Standard Time, it is 6 p.m. What time this show comes on? 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right. I love you all. Bless you. Be encouraged, Israel. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Look at him looking.
look at them looking. 